Hello everybody, my name is Jay Martin. Thank you for watching TW Replays. We are on a banger of a map. This is the Cadillac Grassy Flatlands 2v2 tournament. With me in the channel are Theodore and Silky. Guys, what are we watching? A grassy game of mind tricks. Why is it a mind trick? Because Sweden has brought four sharpshooters. Nobody plays sharpshooters. Never. The Jagger. Or extremely rarely do we see this. Especially on this map. Did it? Uh, Hold up. Refresh my memory. Didn't Once Upon a Time uh, Gold and or no, 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 no. It was Crucible versus <laughs> Lendon. And Lendon absolutely wrecked Crucible with three Swedish Jaegers. You are close, but it was Warren against Crucible. Oh, okay. And Warren brought no lights, I think, and then Crucible brought like three, and he won. Yeah, your memory serves you right. It, yeah, it almost never happens, but when it happens, it's a total uh, uh, surprise. <laughs> So the Sweden and it mind happened game. before that because uh, I I've been telling Crucible in that game to to exactly that. Yeah. So you expect Sweden to spawn with six shooter cap, but instead he's got four rifles, and you're like, oh crap. Yep. The best yeah. part is the uh, lands are telling FDF to bring four lights, and him refusing beforehand because he didn't believe he would bring four sharpshooters. That was the best part. That's the behind the scenes thing. Speaking of which, these guys do have opponents. They just haven't showed up yet. It's going to be Fed as Prussia and Lanzer as GB over here. I'm going to spoiler this game a little bit to make your viewing easier. The left side of the map, not much happens. Which means we can safely just kind of park the camera here. And see how Gold wants to prosecute the mind game. Your Prussian army, let's note a couple things real quick. There are only three light infantry here, which makes the matchup against four Jaegers problematic. And then there's going to be four Lancers is what Fed has available as Cav. Guys, take it away. I may just say something. Uh, it's about the rules of this tournament. Uh, Sweden and Prussia right now have a defender side or no they have attacker side and that means they gonna have to make things happen because the there are zones of control of uh, win, winning zones we call them and if defender side is contesting them even with one unit then if the time runs out this defender side will win and so attacker side has to make things happen and push and actually win the game and be more aggressive because the winning zone is on the road right now and that's why a certain team must be more aggressive than the other okay just to make sure i understood that is gold on the defender right now uh, uh no he is attacker he's okay. attacker okay and, I mean, the, the, the zone is really just the center of this map, right? Like, where this path is? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so technically you would say gold's in control of of the zone right now, right? Yes, but Lancer is also in the control of the zone. Okay. If you look it to your left. Silky, how do you counter for rifles? Me? Actually, I had a game recently. Uh, it was a 3v3, and uh, it was against Ultimo. And I was playing Prussia, he was playing Sweden, and I knew he was going to bring four sharpshooters, because Goldie brought four sharpshooters in this. So I decided to try something completely new. And so I brought two Prussian sharpshooters, a militia, the rest was line and guard, and then eight lancers. Um, which I think put him off quite a bit. And I just kind of went into his face. I had the support on my right of Crucible with Austria against, I think it was Portugal, which was Lanzer. And basically, yeah, I just went in his face and I used the, the sharpshooters on the flank to pester and to push him back. And I just pushed the center. 
Um, and I countercharged his his shooter cav with the lancers, and I also charged his infantry, and um, the rest was the rest is just as said, I just destroyed him basically after that. Um, and I didn't play a lights game with him; I just kind of got in his face. Yeah, I like with that. With this though, with this three lights, I mean Teo knows better because he's a grassy player, but I mean I guess I would just try and keep pushing him until he has nowhere really to go. Um, and try and outshoot his sharpshooters with my lights, and just try and keep my infantry as far back as I can that are still in the safety zone. So I wouldn't like run away from him. I would try and just get in his face or try and double up on his, you know, on the running speed so that he can't like run, shoot, run, shoot, and kite me to death. Um, stuff like that. Yeah, I kind of want to agree with you. Like. I, it's probably just because I'm too impatient, but I would absolutely refuse to play the whole you outrange me by 25 and I keep pulling back and forward. I would just run up and be like, fine, you want to shoot? Let's go. You know, like, yeah, fuck it. Let's go. Like, yeah, it's I would... just about closing down the distance. FDF has just played it way too defensive and he's lost a lot of men through, like, pushing up but not committing to it. Exactly, exactly my point. I would just be like, all right, let's go, you know. Yeah, but you have to keep in mind that if you go crazy like this, uh, Sweden has the shooter cab and they can also kite. I will just uh, stay and wait for the uh, Jaggers to waste their ammunition on my lights even if I have three of them. And uh, even if I lose my lights in the process, it means that he didn't get enough uh, value out of his Jaggers. Because if you stay, just stay with your Prussian Fusiliers in light formation, and let uh, the Jaggers shoot you, uh, they will probably not rout your unit and they will definitely use all of their ammunition. So you just Lovely. need to stay and die where you are. And then you can proceed to attack Sweden with your uh, with more of your infantry. How does the math on that work? If you take your Prussian lights, put them in light formation, spread them out real deep, I mean, does the Jaeger run out of ammunition before you route? Like this, yeah, I... exactly this. Yeah, eventually. I mean, it matters uh, if Sweden is also shooting at you with the shooter cavalry or there are some infantry shooting at the lights. This can influence the game, but if you put one Jager shooting from the distance against the Prussian lights and they, uh, the Prussian lights are not even moving, then the Prussian lights should survive and the Jaggers will use their ammunition. That's a pretty good shot. Yeah, sorry, say. Oh, I was just say, we do have some movement on the left here. They're at least threatening to come and help out. I don't think that materializes. So I think that uh, Sweden saw that there is an opening on its right and is trying to pour more and more units to that side while trying to shoot with the Jaggers. Hey, I have a silly request. Can you guys take over the commentary for about two minutes? Because I need to swap in a new keyboard. Right. <laughs> okay. even have... I, I'm serious. I just broke a two hundred dollar keyboard. Ah! This sounds very unfortunate for you. Yeah, it's like the one <laughs> the tournament money at some point. <laughs> is this the Goldie Lancer game? Yeah. Man. Yeah, it is. No wait. Are, uh, so Goldie against uh, Lancer, yeah. 
Yeah, Goldie against FDF and Lancer is against Ultimo right now. Ultimo. Is... Ultima. Uh, oh, FDF is against... You didn't see this game? No, no, I was not there. I was not watching. Wait, Sweden is then... That... Sweden's Goldie, FDF is Prussia against them. Um, ah, Lancer right. GB and Ultimo's uh, Prussia. Yeah, look at the... Ah, we cannot zoom in the camera. Ah, yeah, yeah, somebody, somebody forgot the tech orders on the lights. This is unlucky. Yep. Ui, ui, ui. This is just one of the... This is just a video of a slow, painful death on FDS part. That's all this is. Yeah. Keeps retreating and Sweden is biting him off. Which should have killed any Jaggers. Against Lancer, like... If he would wake up finally, even Darlus is here. Can you imagine even fucking Darlus is here? I know, right? I don't know about FDF yeah. though. FDF was online, I checked. I don't know if you can play. Hmm. Well, if not, uh, me and Lancer will go tank group. Oi. That's Oi, powerful. Spot for you. Spot I'm, not for you I'm not joining your stupid tank group. <laughs> Man, I see the victory coming, so okay. This no. Time. Let's focus on this game, not on other games. Yeah, sure. I will order some pizza. Or what? play one more. He let loose. Let me check. Okay. I can like, replay CSGO. Okay, let me take a break for this game. Enough. Let me watch. So, what do you think, Silky? Uh, is happening with this lights from Prussia. Uh, well, I think, yeah, I think he's got his infantry way too close to his lights, and he's trying to like. I guess FDF right now is trying something sneaky. Like, well, he's trying something like new that he's seen someone else do, which is angle his line to try and get shots off on skirmishers. But I don't think it's paying off because he's losing too much of his line pushing up and being in line with his actual lights. So. They're just like half of his line infantry is just getting damaged from like mucking about with trying to shoot sharpshooters that are in skirmish formation. So I just think, I think he's it. only trying to survive the 40 minute game. Yeah, there is that, yeah. But I, well, I also think that he's having to deal with past PTSD of Lanzer shouting at him, and he's experiencing that PTSD right now as Lanzer shouts at him more, so. No, no, no. Oh, yeah. I've been to their Discord when this was happening, and I think Lancer was quite uh, uh, busy, not doing anything, and they weren't talking. He's just sleeping. Yeah. Maybe it's Lancer's fault, actually. Maybe he should have been more active to win this game. Yeah, from one point, I uh, heard Lancer trying to micro his troops, FDF's troops. Trying to yeah, tell yeah. him what to do, and he wasn't doing anything else. Yeah, yeah, true. I mean, I think their uh, group cohesion is a bit broken right now. The love ain't there, bruh. Uh, and I think maybe Mike and, Mike and uh, Goldie's, Goldie's teamwork is on point, you know? Mike's listening and just soaking up Goldie's knowledge, really. Yeah, but what is there to listen? I mean, <laughs> oh, if only two of you were helping him. He was told not to do anything. Exactly, and, exactly. And he's not doing anything. But that's what Lanzer and should have done. If you were to tell FDF the same thing, then yep. uh, I don't think the same is happening. I mean, he needs to do something, FDF, and I don't understand why Lancer is not pushing himself. He he could be doing so much. No, but that's the point. Is damage. Lancer just watching his teammate die? Like he's, it's like the fight between the stronger opponent and the weaker teammate, and you're supposed to do the reverse to like make it fair. So like Lancer should have been putting the pressure on Mike to win the game because. FDF is going to die no matter what. Well, see, yeah, you know, exactly. I, well, I, I feel like FDF would have died anyway if like Goldie brought six shooter cav and done a infantry rush nation, like an infantry rush style, because he's just the better player. So he's going to die eventually, or he's going to 
Yeah, he's basically he's going to die eventually, so it really comes down to Lanzer killing Mike first before Goldie kills FDF. That's how the games go. And this is the beauty, I think, of the 2v2 grassy game. Like, if player A, you know, has an advantage, you know, player B's got to make the game symmetrical. You're hitting the nail on the head, Silky. Lands are not doing anything. It's just like, well, I guess we showed up. Yeah. I think he doesn't trust himself too much on grassy, and that's why he's not active. Yeah, you'll see in the other games, like the was it the sunken game, he did a really good job of being more active and supporting his teammate and and killing all, uh, killing Mike as well. So there's stuff like that where he's done a better job at it on games on maps that he's more confident on. Yeah, I've got that one queued up. We can do that one later if you want. Yeah, that would be great. It's a nice game to watch. I I do feel like. Gold has taken his time. I, I think he could have moved a lot faster and wrapped this game up quicker. Yeah, well, right. He, he was saying to me after that game, or he was saying to a couple people, he was saying basically he was actually really nervous about the time. I think he was actually playing this game much faster than he would have wanted to. Like, for example, if he's defender side, he would have, like, wasted his skirmishers, like, fully. Whereas this game, this is him actually moving quite fast because he was genuinely worried about the, the, the time. I see. For it. Um, so he would have rather just sat back for like the full 40 minutes and wasted the skirmisher's ammo completely. I guess. I think he, yeah. Well, I guess what I'm thinking is he hasn't done anything with his calves so far, which is a bit odd. What are we, 15 minutes into the game? Mm. Nah, he has done something. He shot with the shooter cavalry some lights and some lines, uh, especially on the flank, I think when they yeah. were retreating. I think so, a lot of time he's using them as what well, they he's using them as like a counter. So like he he uh you might have seen it when like Landon plays or other guys play where he'll rush the cav up if you like charge with cav or if you push up with infantry he'll shoot a volley and then he'll run back. So like he's using it as like a passive aggressive kind of um unit instead of a it's more of a counter it's rather kind of than a threat, a right? Yeah, exactly. It's sort of like a rook hanging out in the back. You you can't move a knight up there as long as the rook's there. Yeah, you, yeah. You see there. Look at the top top right. You see he's uh, pushing forward the two cav to take a volley, but he was a bit slow on it, so he has to pull them back before he can shoot because the line will get him. But that was his plan: is to shoot the infantry in the back and then pull back. I think, or make them square, whichever. Yeah, the thing is, the more that you can do the better usually because let's imagine this scenario you have a Jagger unit that uh, is looking at some Russian infantry and they are uh, out of range yet but if you order them to shoot then they will kill some people but you can just order them to do so you have to make additional moves to uh, to, in the battle because your opponent will immediately see what you are doing so if you keep him busy with something else he will not see that your jaggers are shooting the uh, musketeers and the more that you can do the, the more confused your opponent will be in the end and more mistakes will do but you also have to be up to the task so micromanagement is rewarded on this map also is he actually gonna go here i think not <laughs> but okay. he will get shot to pieces <laughs> yeah that, that, that could have gone better bad news can't move the camera you're stuck in this view for the rest of this video I plug in three keyboards. None of them seem to be working. Oh, wow. They're 19. Why isn't he doing anything about that? Uh, what? Well, the Fusilier down here is at night. I can't get the... There we go. Oh, 
19 people. Yeah. Interesting how it doesn't route yet. It's got a chevron. Yeah, units uh, earn chevrons much faster when they are depleted. I'd like to see what gold's doing over the top, but... I mean, I guess look at the minimap. A unit's routed down here, so he could be opening this up. Yeah, I think he's pushing right now on the flank. We are seeing some fight between Ultimo and Lancer. Yeah, they, their lights have been exchanging fire for about five minutes now. Nothing too big, but... I hit the minimap. <laughs> How much cab does he have left? One... I think he started with six and he probably still has six. Yeah, I think that's correct. Yeah. Maybe you can zoom in sometimes. It will show the action better. Why did they get so close? Probably they were yeah. chasing. Yeah. He has to do several things. For example, the shooter cavalry to on this uh, screen up uh -huh. had to shoot something. Yo, why does uh, why does Goldie do like a long formation for his shooter cav? Like he spreads them out instead of like a square. Does it matter? I That's the yes, no idea. Figure out. I don't know if it's just like his personal habit or if he's doing it out of a reason. I think it's a personal habit because it can even be worse in my opinion. When you yeah, are going yeah. wide like this, you get more uh, uh, more targets to your opponent to shoot at. Of yeah. course, you can charge better because you have more men to charge, but you, you usually don't want to charge just shoot with the shooter cavalry or to force squares I don't know why I wouldn't do it this is the point in the game where I believe Fed really gets his line turned up here that was hard to see but that was a really good shot from the shooter cav here yeah, I think we can look at the flank attack right now. It's, yeah, it's nothing going to happen in center, like. <laughs> no, no, absolutely not. Mm. But what's going to happen is they're all going to get softened up so much here that eventually these units get down to like 50 men and the shooter cab just kind of wrap it up. Yeah, better zoom in right now. More stuff is happening. I can't move the camera. You can't? Oh, wait! Oh, I can so Oh, not... keyboard, that was it. I was wondering why. <laughs> the keyboard just turned itself ah. on. But yeah, this is the flank where he's in trouble. This is exactly it. 50 men in that unit. Yeah. Cav's about to die. He's got a guard coming up, but it shouldn't be keep running. I think he's chasing the cav in the back. And it's like walking forward as it's targeting. Units can't shoot when they're moving. Oh, perfect use of cavalry by Goldie. I think he just routed three units. Yep. It'll be interesting if Goldie's uh, sharpshooters are out of ammo by now, if they're still going. They gotta be. What's he doing with them? Let's see. Go well, they're not shooting, and you'd think they would be. Oh, yeah, he might have just moved them, but yeah, I think they are out of ammo. The game is 24 minutes Oh, those old. ones aren't. The ones in the middle are still going. That's unbelievable. That one right there. 
he's kind of respecting this. He could be a little more aggressive here. Well, he doesn't really need to fight Lanzer because Lanzer's doing nothing, is he? Right. He just needs to kill Prussia and then he's got nothing on his left. I mean, this is the game right here. This is when the shooter cab break into the back. If these two units go, then he can just complete the turn. Yeah. There goes one. There goes two. It's not a bad effort to slow him down. I mean, you got to do something with what you got left, but Fed just doesn't have that much left. I guess we can say from this game that the passive type of playing is not being rewarded. If you are aggressive and you know what you are doing, you can do a lot more stuff than just sitting in the back and uh, retreating if you think that your opponent is pressing on some point. Mm -hmm. I mean, if you had put me in Fed's chair, this game would have been over 15 minutes ago and I either would have won or lost spectacularly. Oh, that was a gnarly volley. Maybe putting the cavalry like this helps you not shoot your own infantry in the back. I was going to ask, is he... But I think I'm he's not killing sure himself. I didn't test this. Yeah, you... M many times you are shooting your own infantry with the shooter cav. Even if you placed on top of them. Well, this is a development. You have a Lanzer unit engaging here. But if we show you this side of the field, obviously not much has been going on. Yeah, just some light fight happening. But now FDF or Fed doesn't have much to show for, I think. I'm counting. He's more depleted. Yeah, he's got five units left. So I think this one is kind of wrapped up. I'm going to kick in a fast forward. And this is... Goldie kind of doing the final envelopment. Yeah, I, I really blame Lancer for this game. I think FDF did what he could, but Lancer didn't do what he must have done. Let, let me you add a little bit. expected FDF to outperform Goldie, and that's just not going to happen. Mm. Yeah. I think if you go into this game on paper and you're like, if I can get gold attrition down to like five units, I would think that would be good. And then you would rely on your other player to make up the gap on that. No, they were just playing for the time. Has that become an issue on anyone's games? Well, I think we had two draws so, so far, right? Okay. Actually, there's the, there's the Sunken Jungle one that we might watch next that's... Uh... You'll see that comes right down to the the end game, time wise. Right. You know, it's never been. I don't want to say never been an issue for me, but does it show you the time on a replay? What do you mean? Well, like I'm trying to hover over the little clock, right? And it's not showing me anything. It says ten minutes forty five seconds. Is that just nah, us? Yeah, it won't tell you how much time there is in the game. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it does. I guess it's just part of my game is actually off my monitor, so it just must be off the monitor. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah, now it's over. Just gets enveloped and GG. Mm hmm. Now Lanzer starts playing. Now, now Mike is starting to play his pushing. Oh. I like this from him. Of course, he has a lot more units, but still, he's pushing. Now he's getting enveloped, and the minimap looks nice again. They could new box him if they wanted. Can we see it closer? Yes. Oh, that's perfect. Uh -huh. Yeah, you never want to end up in this type of position when you retreat on both flanks and the enemy just has more uh, pace to shoot you from. Like, the game should really have a... And not just rage quit option, but like a surrender gracefully option. That's called leaving the game. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, that's what you get. But... I mean, it just looks bad if, you know, player X dropped. That just kind of looks bad. Can you just give me a yeah, graceful good. surrender Before option? Before the chat was uh, removed, I always used to write, I, re I resign. And then I quit the game. <laughs> yeah, that works. That works. Especially, especially if I was host. This was always good. Yeah. When did you do that? I did it a couple of times. It was fun. I just remember uh, in Discord Billy's depleted voice saying I resign and then leaving. Man, I, I once did it after <laughs> two minutes of game because I fucked up the start like against Warren and then I didn't want to play the rest of the game. I just resigned. I don't care. The rest five people, they can like wait for a new game. Alright. Fine. Okay, well that's the end of that one. Uh, Great game, Goldie and Ultimo on one hand, Lancer and Fed on the other. Well played, everybody. We had a good time watching it. And um, somebody will slap a link to the Discord if you want to follow this event a little closer. We're going to wrap that one up for now. Hopefully bring you another one later in the day. Until then, take care of yourselves, take care of each other, and we'll see you in the next video.